Miro supports all kinds of work, ideation, collaboration, tracking implementation, and technical diagrammation. That a word? Yes. Let's look at a few features Miro has to offer, starting with layers. In diagramming focus mode, we open the layers panel to add layers to our diagram. By default, shapes are added to the diagram default layer. To add shapes to a new layer, we can select it and add shapes to the diagram. Alternatively, you can select shapes on the canvas, right-click, then move to layer, and select the layer. Hover over any layer in the side panel to hide, lock, rename, or duplicate it. We can also drag layers to change the order. A final note about access, board owners, co-owners, and editors can access layers. Viewers and commenters cannot. Next up, line jumps. Select any straight or orthogonal line. Click the line type icon and select line jump from the menu. Third, we have custom shapes. While in focus modes in the My Shapes section, simply click Browse and Upload Shapes, or click the plus sign and upload a shape in SVG format. Now these shapes are there whenever you need to tailor your diagrammation to a specific industry or project. I really don't think that that's a word, Matt. Yes, it is. I saw it on Pinterest. Let's hang out in this shape menu for number four. There are a few ways to quickly find the shape you need. First, we can simply search for it from the main menu. Even shapes in deselected shape packs will appear in search. Wait, deselected shape packs? Yes. That's the second way to customize the shape menu. Click Manage Shapes and select only the shape packs you use on a regular basis. Next up, we have the what we call the Duplicate Switch Shape Combo Move. With a shape on the board, we duplicate it by holding Option or Alt on Windows and click and drag the shape to where we want it to go. With that duplicate shape selected, click the Switch Shape icon. This will look like the current shape and select any shape from the same shape pack. Boom! OK, finally, the precision lasso. To use it, click and hold until the cursor becomes a plus sign. Then drag over the desired shapes. Only the shapes fully inside the field are selected. This is particularly useful for duplicating or moving shapes inside containers. And that's it, our list of ways to unlock your technical diagrammation workflow in Miro. That's not a word.